how to withdraw money from phantom to bank account hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can withdraw money from your phantom wallet to your bank account now the phantom wallet is something a lot of people like to use to have their own cryptocurrency being held by them because when crypto is in an exchange, it is not actually held by you. Phantom is a wallet which allows you to actually have your own cryptocurrency and your own NFTs in a safe space, which are going to be controlled by you, secured by the Phantom team. So when you're using your Phantom wallet, you're going to find it on your top right as an extension. Most people do have the extension version of the phantom wallet and if you click on the top right puzzle icon you will see i have my phantom wallet here and if i click on my wallet i just have to log in now i've already created my wallet if you don't know how to create a wallet you can check out our other video on how you can build your own phantom account now once you do that this is what your phantom wallet is going to look like you guys can see this is on the right now in your account on the top first you have to choose which money do you want to withdraw from your phantom wallet so if you have usdt if you have eth whatever tokens you might have you're going to choose which account you want to transfer them from so click on account on the top and then select the relevant account once you do that you're going to see a token list and in your token list you will have the valuation of each token which means it will display how many solona i have and what's the dollar amount that it is equivalent to so if you have five if you have one ethereum if you have one bitcoin it will display the value here now when you're trying to withdraw money directly from your phantom wallet and you're looking to deposit it into your bank account you might think oh i'm just gonna send it directly to my bank account however that is not actually possible. We're going to have to do a little bit of a workaround, which means you're going to need an account on an exchange such as Binance. So I do have a Binance account to which I am going to log into. And you need to ensure that your crypto exchange account is just valid and verified. And once you do that, you can see For some reason it's giving me a security violation, but I'm just going to go on ahead log into binance over here because the way that we're gonna send money from our phantom wallet is going to be via an exchange so the phantom wallet only allows you to transfer money from one one wallet to the next one and for that we're gonna have to send money into our wallet on binance and then withdraw it from binance it doesn't necessarily have to be binance it could be any cryptocurrency exchange so if you are using coinbase if you're using kucoin if you're using any other crypto exchange you can simply use that platform and have that platform um, be the way that you're going to send out your message uh your your cryptocurrency so we're just gonna wait for our inbox to get the verification code it might take a couple of seconds for it to show up so that we can log into our account on binance and i'm also just going to check our spam account in case any of the messages do land up there however for some reason i cannot seem to get the code i'm gonna confirm the reset cancel and i can't actually go through with this i'm just gonna have to re-log into binance for some odd reason it is not letting me log in properly so i'm going to continue with google to see if i'm still going to face this issue and hopefully this will just verify my account yeah so just like that we have logged on to our binance account now from here the next step is going to be to go into your phantom wallet and you're going to send your cryptocurrency into binance to do that you can click on send and choose whichever coin you have let's say we have ETH and then you have to enter the recipient's ETH address and then enter the amount you want to send. So let's say we have one ETH even though this wallet is just a sample wallet and then you're going to enter the recipient's Ethereum address. So the address is going to be found in your Binance crypto wallet. So you're going to click on your top right where you can see your wallet and you guys can see in your crypto portfolio you will have assets in assets you have overview 
click on overview over here and then click on deposit and click on deposit crypto over here once you click on deposit crypto you're going to search the coin that you're depositing so for us we're depositing ethereum and then search the network it is on so what network is your eth on if it's on the solana network if it's on ethereum you can click on your top right to see which network is currently opened so for that we're ha we're gonna have to search for eth because that's the network we're using and then once we've done that we're just gonna copy this address go into phantom click on send click our eth and then paste that eth address over here and enter the eth amount then click on next and then your crypto will be sent to Binance. Now, once your crypto has been sent to Binance, you have to trade it in for any fiat currency. So whenever you're using crypto, for example, we're gonna go back into our overview. Now in this, you will see all of your money and you can click on withdraw over here. You can choose the token and it will ask you to directly withdraw to an address or to a Binance user. So we want to actually withdraw our crypto in the form of dollars to our bank account. For that, you're going to have to go back and you're going to convert your cryptocurrency assets to a fiat currency. You can either do this in P2P trading or just click and trade um yeah you're gonna click in trade and you have direct trading which is earn simple earn square more and we're just gonna go over here we're gonna click on sell crypto in the buy crypto section and then select your eth so whatever eth you have whatever token you have we're going to select that let's say we have eth over here and then you're going to sell that for usd and you're going to enter um you know the receiving method so uh, for different regions your crypto selling methods are going to be different for us p2p is recommended in our location however if you're doing direct selling in most areas you're able to directly withdraw it into your bank account which can be significantly easier and if you want you can choose to not withdraw the entire amount that's totally up to you you just have to make sure you convert your eth into usdt and then convert your usdt into usd and have your money be deposited from your phantom wallet this is where we started so this is our phantom wallet to binance to uh, a fiat currency and to our bank account now additionally if you want to skip some of the extra steps on binance you can go directly into phantom and then click on swap and you can swap your crypto token for a fiat currency this makes it easier for you to trade it in on binance and get your money deposited into your bank account i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video